Beth Ryan coming to you from NAEM's Environmental Women's Leadership Roundtable in Washington, D.C. Standing here with Nancy Gillis, Director of Federal Supply Chain for the GSA. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Thanks for being with us today. I understand that the uh, GSA has just started addressing sustainability or trying to define it in its own terms. How are you defining sustainability? That's actually a really interesting question. I know that with Executive Order 13514, which is really driving a lot of GSA sustainability activities, that within the Executive Order, the definition for sustainability mimics closely what the Brundtland Commission put out. But GSA as a procurement agency actually looks at sustainability through the off-sited triple bottom line. So we understand that to be sustainable, you not only have to be looking at your environmental impacts when you're doing a procurement decision, you also have to look at the economic viability of that, and you have to do it because we're GSA, so we're part of the federal government, you have to do it in the FAR, which is our federal acquisition regulations. So it's really looking at economic, environmental, and FAR considerations all at the same time. Now there's been a lot of uh, scrutiny of government spending of late. To what extent does that scrutiny extend to the environmental footprint of the products that the government purchases? Actually, the uh, scrutiny is a boon for sustainability because what it's prompting um, all federal agencies when they do procurements now is to start looking not just at the first cost of what they're buying, the initial cost, but really life cycle costs. So not only is it what is the cost associated with obtaining it, but also during its use phase, like what's the cost of the energy of using that product, or the end of life, what is it going to cost me for me to actually dispose of it. So that scrutiny is really causing us to think more hard about life cycle costing and including that in our best value decision making. Well, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks again.